A Berkshire woman says cinema chains aren't catering for deaf people. Many only show a few subtitled films on certain days. But Linda Dean from Reading says she's having to wait weeks for new releases and sometimes finds films which should have subtitles don't. Tom Hepworth's been to meet her. Linda Dean is a film buff, but because she's deaf, sometimes the first time she can see a new release is when it comes out on DVD, months later. Not every film is shown with subtitles in the cinema, and you can wait for weeks if they are. I'd like to be relaxed about my social life and go spontaneously where I want to go, when I feel comfortable, without having to think, oh, I have to go and watch it on that date, that time, and if I don't go, I'm going to miss it. And I must say, some of that time I've actually been to the cinema at Basingstoke or other locations, and I've been told there's a subtitle showing, and actually it's not subtitled. So I've travelled all that way for nothing, and that's even more disappointing. There are lots of barriers. There's no point in me having a choice. There's no equality. So I do feel like I'm discriminated against. Can you have a look at the cinema? Linda's in Newbury with her friend Victoria to see what films they can watch together. There are just a handful with subtitles on this week out of a total of 146 showings. They don't have any awareness of the show for next week and no information on the website is clear enough. So I think probably more training is needed for staff members. No one from View Cinemas was available for an interview, but a spokeswoman did tell us that we follow the industry best practice approach to subtitled screening with two performances every week, alongside Mini Mornings, which are subtitled on the second Sunday of every month. Could these glasses, shown here at Sony's headquarters in Basingstoke, be the answer? They project subtitles onto the lenses, meaning deaf people can watch any film without having subtitles appearing on the screen. Similar technology is already in use in the US and Australia. Can you imagine the first cinema chain that, oper that operated this type of technology? How much, reputationally, how much benefit would that be in terms of their general business brand, but also within the deaf community? You'd have deaf people just going to that cinema chain. So I almost feel that there's a, there's a, they're not taking advantage of that great opportunity that's right in front of them. Until things change, Linda and some of the other 11 million other people with some form of hearing loss can't enjoy a Saturday night at the movies. They have to recreate the experience at home. Tom Hepworth, BBC South Today.